Hey guys, it's Justin with Thompson Physical Therapy, and you are looking at my foot, alright? So, what I want to talk about today is limitations in dorsiflexion causing flat feet. So first I want to define what dorsiflexion is. Dorsiflexion is movement at the ankle, which brings the toes closer to the shin. So, my toes should be coming closer to my shin, so that means here or here okay so either way my toes are coming closer to my shin all right so how can limitations in your dorsiflexion movement cause feet uh, cause flat foot okay so what happens when you load is you go into your walking pattern and as you walk, your foot, your leg translates over your foot. Okay. If you have a limitation in your dorsiflexion range of motion, so let's say it blocks here, but for walking, you actually need this much dorsiflexion. Okay. So if you have a block here, but you need this, what's interesting about the body is it'll take even though you don't have the motion at this is your Taylor curl joint even though you don't have the motion to get there here you've got all these other joints in your foot that are gonna allow you to get here somehow okay so how is it gonna do that so you hit that block in your ankle joint then what's gonna happen is your foot is gonna compensate and it'll flatten out and allow for the ankle to go further okay however that doesn't necessarily that's not necessarily a good thing all right so if you look at it from the front so let's say I'm in a neutral foot right now with a good strong arch and then I bring my foot forward into dorsiflexion this is the part of the walking pattern just before I start to push off but let's say I hit that block but I need just a few more degrees for normal walking pattern then what's gonna happen is my foot's gonna flatten out and you can see what happens at the ankle it rolls inward causing a little bit of a rotation at the tibia so the tibia will actually rotate inward this way putting a torque on the lower leg and on the knee going all the way up into the hip and back so it's really important to have good flexibility through your ankle joint so that your foot doesn't take any excess um, flexion and flattening out pronation there's not excess pronation through your foot here because that excess pronation can lead to this tibial torsion and things like that that can be problematic going up the chain. Alright guys